Australia came agonisingly close to the perfect year in 2015. Rugby championship winners and unbeaten in the so-called group of death, the Wallabies came up just short in the World Cup final. Outside centre Tavita Kuridrani played a leading role in their success. Growing up back in uh, Fiji, uh, I've always wanted to play in the uh, Rugby World Cup and uh, yeah, it's good to uh, play this year. Uh, people doubted that we were going to make the finals and uh, yeah, to be able to play in the Rugby World Final, I think that's probably one of the biggest thing in my rugby career and uh, yeah, that scoring that try was just unbelievable, just a bonus. The Wallabies' sharp upturn in fortunes followed the appointment of a new head coach at the end of 2014. For me, it was uh, Michael Tracker. He was sort of like a different, you know, he's sort of like a really true guy. Uh, it tells you, I think, and uh, he's been working on that uh, belief from the team. That's probably one of the big things, and everyone sort of get, uh, got along together really well, and uh, that's probably the main thing, uh, thing was just belief. Part of an impressive rugby family that includes Lottie Takiri and Noah Nandruko, Kuradrani came head to head with another cousin when Australia played Fiji in the World Cup pool stages. Nemanja was brought up, uh, born in Brisbane, uh, and I was born in Fiji. They always uh, come back to Fiji for holiday, and yeah, we used to always play in the beach. Up until I was uh, 16, then my family moved over to Australia. And that's when I, uh, you know, started playing with him a couple of tournaments, like just uh, sevens. Yeah, well, you know, we play it's always a backyard stuff, and does get um, a bit of competitive. We've got another younger brother who, who's back in Brisbane. He plays for the Reds, and um, yeah, it's, it's always been, co you know, the com competitiveness um, has always been there. Yeah, it was pretty tough for me, uh, you know, to be able to go up against him. But uh, yeah, it was good, good experience as well. Uh, we made the family proud. Oh, mate, he, he's 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 come of age. Like he's come really good, you know. He's, um, he's played 30 odd caps for the Wallabies. You know, he's he's a backbone, I think, for the for the Wallabies backline this year and the last few years actually. And um, you know, he's dangerous um, as a player. He's one player that when we play against him, that we you know we've got to watch out for him. 2016 offers a chance for Australia to build on their progress with a three-test series against England and the chance to defend the Rugby Championship. I think it's just still a little bit of work in the team. But yeah, at the moment, uh, you know, we're really happy how we went. I think we'll just keep on working on, uh, like I said, like the belief in the team and uh, yeah, hopefully that uh, we'll get to the next World Cup.